Hello and welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity. I am your brother, Hosanna David. I want to share a word with us today. The Lord revealed to me something about abortion. This is not the first time I'm getting a vision about abortion. But this one was just, uh, I think yesterday, there were a lot of visions the Lord gave me. So I was writing all of them down. Many of them are about pornography and how Satan uses pornography to trap Christians, especially in the world in general. A lot of agenda about pornography is being executed right now. And I want to just use this opportunity to beg every one of you, if you watch pornography, please desist from it. It is very, very destructive. It has its own spiritual implication. I'm going to do some videos and also post what the Lord revealed to me on biblicalsexualpurity.com and on our YouTube channel, Biblical Sexual Purity, so that people can learn. I will take my time and type everything so that I will, well, I wrote everything in this book and a lot of visions, a lot of visions the Lord gave to me, a lot of visions. I've been writing them down and it's very, very sad to see what Satan is doing in case humanity using pornography. But this one, while I was receiving those visions and I was writing, the Lord gave me this one about abortion. Uh, in a vision, I heard the voice of the Spirit of the Lord saying, said to me, one of the most disgusting sins people commit is abortion. Every life is precious. When fornicators commit abortion, the sight of it irritates me and I turn away my face. The Lord has told me that blessed are those babies who never saw the corruption of this world. Um, my understanding about the babies who never saw the corruption of this world is that those who maybe we are aborted or have uh, children who uh, died through uh, stillbirth and miscarriages, they know no sin. They don't know any sin. And they don't pass through this world. And that is what I actually understand. But Bless are those children who never pass through this world to see the corruption uh, in this world. That's what me, I understand about that. Uh, abortion now is being made free. <laughs> but a lot of people don't know where those babies end up. A lot of pharmaceutical industries make millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars, yearly from aborted fetuses. Uh, they make a lot of money. They produce drugs, um, creams, especially bleaching creams, they extract chemicals. The, even some people eat aborted children. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. It's so disgusting. And you know, God is watching. He's watching. There are people the Lord sends into this world to fulfill their destiny and to carry out some assignment people have bought them let me just tell you this there was someone some years ago though they had stopped giving birth to children uh, and they were doing family planning but the lord spoke to me and said the lord wants to send someone through you into this world they heard the message and they were into serious family planning but you know what when God wants to do something, he breaks protocols. The woman took him and she told me that I am pregnant. I said, well, I have told you before now that God said he wants to send somebody into this world through you. Do you know what? They killed the baby. They planned together and killed the baby. They killed the person God was sending into this world. Each time I remember about it, each time I remember it, it pains my heart because they don't even know who God was sending. The woman said, oh, it was my husband. He mounted a lot of pressure on me. They killed the committed murder. Except they repent, 
they are going to answer for it. I don't know the kind of person God was sending that he told me that he was sending someone into this world. That is how a lot of people kill, commit murder, kill people. The souls of those children cry. The blood cries from the earth. God told Cain that the blood of your brother Abel, whom you kill, is crying out of the earth to me. And you think your life will be good? You think God is going to answer your prayers? You think curses will be averted from your head and that the repercussion of the murder you are committing will be taken off your head? It is a big lie. Souls are crying after you. You murderer. You killer. You kill people. You commit fornication and you kill because you don't carry children. I tell you the truth, God is writing everything down. A day is coming when you shall give account. Let me just quickly say this. A lot of people have asked me questions about uh, family planning. I don't want to address that for now. But I tell you, there are some family planning uh, methods that lead to abortion. When fertilization takes place most fertilizations take place in the fallopian tube when fallopi when fertilization takes place a soul has been formed it may be microscopic but a soul has been formed the the essence of the human being the what make the human being is not the body the body is just the house the we human being is the soul, the spirit. We are tripartite being. We have the spirit, the soul, and the body. The body is just one, but to thought is the soul and the spirit. The Bible says that after God created the body, it was lifeless. He breathed into the nostry of man, the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Please. Let us know that God is going to judge every sin of abortion. And those of you who support abortion, those of you who are feminists and you support abortion, or those of you who do it secretly, especially some Christians who are in good positions in the church, in high places in the church, you don't want to face shame and you kill, I tell you, you shall pay for it. Ah, pray for me, uh, even as I work towards releasing the messages the Lord has given to me. Um, subscribe to Biblical Sexual Purity and also to Eagle Eye Opener. But those messages that has to do with uh, exposing what Satan is doing uh, through porn, I'm going to post them on Biblical Sexual Purity. So subscribe and also visit our website, biblicalsexualpurity.com and eagleeyeopener.com. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.